You want your puppy to be fit and healthy and exercise is really important for this. But if you get their exercise wrong too much or the wrong type, you could be condemning them to early joint disease and a lifetime of long-term pain. And so in this video, I talk about how much exercise is too much and just as importantly, the types of exercise to encourage and avoid in your puppy. So let's start with the general rule of thumb, which is that from eight weeks old, a puppy can walk for five minutes per month of age per day. But, and this is a big but, this is going to depend an awful lot on their breed and the type of exercise that they're doing. So large breed dogs, they grow faster, but they actually take longer to become skeletally mature. And because of these two factors, they are much more prone to developing joint problems because of over exercise. Equally, the type of activity is really important because if we're talking about low level exercise that is at the pup's own pace and your puppy is deciding whether they want to exercise, to play, to run around, to explore their surroundings rather than you encouraging them, they could probably get away with exercising for significantly longer than that, especially if they're a really active dog, like um, your collie breeds, for example. But if the exercise that you're giving them is encouraging them to throw, to chase a ball, if you're throwing a ball over and over again, which is really not something I recommend in any age of dog, but even if it's only for a short time, they're going to be highly motivated to chase that ball, to catch it, to run after it, to slam on the brakes um, if they overshoot it. And that's much more likely to put a lot of extra stress and strain through their joints that even if you stick to this time frame, they could damage themselves. Equally, if you're going for a bike ride or you're going for a run and your puppy is joining you, they're going to want to keep going. They're going to want to keep up and you're not going to pick up on those subtle signs that, that maybe they're getting tired, maybe even that they're starting to limp. They're just going to keep on going and are much more likely to overexert themselves. And then how frequently you're exercising them. Is it every day or which is not ideal. Are they a couch potato in the week and then the weekend warrior going for a big hike to make up for it at the weekend? That's no good for any dog. Shorter and regular is always going to be better. On the flip side, if we err on the side of caution, too much, it's more likely that our puppy is going to be overweight. And if they're overweight in their early years, it sets them up with a lifetime of weight struggles, which can lead to early arthritis, diabetes, skin disease, heart problems, and ultimately can reduce their life expectancy by as much as two whole years. So rather than focusing on how long you're walking your puppy for on a daily basis, Think in terms of stimulation, mental stimulation, as well as physical stimulation. And this is because exercise is just one way that you can keep your puppy stimulated and they need to be stimulated on a daily basis. Actually getting them to solve different puzzles, getting them to use their brains is just as tiring, if not more so for your puppy and can be equally beneficial. So work on training your puppy, go to obedience classes, puppy preschool, work on sit, stay and recall in the backyard. Also making sure that they're well socialized, which is just so important in the early years of a puppy's life to make sure that they come across all the different sights, sounds, smells, people, vehicles, anything they're going to experience on a daily basis. It's going to make it much less likely that they're going to get phobias or behavior problems later on in life. And then focusing on how you feed your puppy as well as what you feed them is an often overlooked factor that can hugely benefit their mental well-being well into old age. And to find out more, check out this video linked on screen, which talks about why you should be throwing away your puppy's food bowl and how to feed them instead.